Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we are going to build a snowman. It doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay, I'm not going to sing Frozen. We are going to use all Dollar Tree of course. So I found this snowman head we're going to paint. I'm going to use two of the three brass wreath, uh, brass wreath rings, two out of the three, I think, and one of these doilies. This is all from the Dollar Tree, and then I have some of this greenery left. If you saw my other wreath that I made with these, that's left over. Um, some wire some wire nips and then some floss and I know they sell the floss at the Dollar Tree I just happen to have white you could use blue you could use red now for the center of one of them I have this glass ornament I got this gosh I don't know last year or the year before at Target just says let it snow I want to hang that in one of the centers um, I'll probably get my glue gun heated up here, see what we can do with that. I get a lot of questions. I just use the AdTech hybrid cordless. I've had this for a long time. I have been interested in one of those Ryobi's with the um, precision tip, because I feel like that would be fun. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to paint this. Got to get it painted so it can dry. Um, I'm just going to do a base coat here. I'm going to use this to paint on. It's just a canvas. Oh, look how fun that is. It fits perfectly. If you want to make some art, <laughs> you could put one of the snowman heads on it. I'm not filling in the hole up here because I am planning on using it. I'm going to paint this black. The face white, the nose orange, and then I'm just going to pick a color for the scarf, probably maybe a blue, I'm not sure. I think part of what I want to do on the scarf is put some greenery on it, but I need to paint it a solid, solid color first. So let's get our paint going. One moment. Got all my paint out. I just said I'm going to do this red, but I'm going to start at the top with black. Um, I'm using all this paint I have here. This is a Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And I'm just going to dip in here, get some black and paint. I like the chalk paint the best. However, if you don't have chalk paint, acrylic paint does work, which is what I'm gonna use on the face. Um, the acrylic paint just um, takes a couple more coats. The chalk paint, fun fact, if you don't utilize it quickly, it does get thick. I've had to add water to several of my colors. So I'm just going to paint this, put it on fast forward, and I'll be back. All right, so we got the basics down. We just need to let this dry. I got some red on the white and some white on the red. It's fine, I'm gonna be decorating it, but this is just the base. So I'm gonna put the paint away and we need to let this dry. And we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, so let's get this doily going. I have the large ring and I have a doily. Now the Dollar Tree does sell, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you would like to say it, they do sell um, white and off-white. I went with the white, um, just personal preference for me. Okay, now I kind of did, created something on my own. I don't know if it's a thing. It could be a thing, I don't know, but I'm making a slip knot at the top. 
you can make any knot you want. But I want that knot at the top, and I want to take this under, we're starting under the, the wire at the top with a knot up here, and I'm taking a point. It doesn't matter what point. I'm trying to make it so that I don't have a top and a bottom, so then when I'm done lacing this on here, I will know when I look at it what I think is the top and the bottom. So my first knot is just there. I'm going to do this pretty tight. I want this pulled really tight, but not overly tight. So I'm going to keep my work to my right because I'm right-handed. I'm going to go through the hole, just any spot. I'm pulling it up and I'm going to say, okay, well, that's pretty centered. I'm going to go under the wire and back through the hole through another. It doesn't have to be the same hole but I want it to feel like it's close to the top. So I double looped it through each of these points. The points are not even, and therefore my threads are not gonna be even going around it. If you want it even, you can, that's up to you. But if you see here, it's gonna get pulled pretty tightly around. I only gave myself about an inch leeway. Going around it again. And I'm holding it with my hand over on the opposite side just to try to make sure I'm not pulling it too tight. It's going to take some practice. It may take you more than one time. I know this is my second round at it, but I wanted to make sure I had it straight for you before I tried to show you how I'm doing something. Somewhere I have a double thread. I need to, there we go. But I want to go through each of these twice to really make them pop when I get around to the other, to the other side. So I'm going under the wire, under the doily, and then I'm going right back under the wire and the same under the doily. And I'll give you a little close up of what I look like right now. It's not perfect because we're not perfect at crafting, you know? But there's a million ways oops, to do this. This is just the way that seemed to work for my brain. You could tie each individual point um, without pulling it, you know? And if you're too tight like I am, I'm just going backwards. I'm taking my floss and I'm giving myself some uh, so I was pulling too tight. So I'm just pulling the floss, giving myself some slack back here at the beginning is all. You just pull it from this side. Give yourself some slack and come back this direction because I was making it too tight and I haven't knotted anything. So we're in a good spot there. So I just fixed it by pulling my loose thread back around. Once I am done with about half, it'll pull its own tautness. But for now I need to use my hand to hold it and remember not to pull too not to pull too tight. Double the knot and it's a continuous thread. So the benefit here is if I want to make it tighter, I can just tighten. See, it's a continuous thread. It's like a running stitch. If you do like quilting or sewing of any kind, it's basically like a running stitch that I can adjust after I go all the way around. So let me get to the end and then I will show you what it's gonna look like.
All right, guys, we made it all the way around. I have this extra piece. I'm just tying a knot with this little tail and my long piece that I have left. I'm not tying it overly tight, but I definitely want to connect it so nothing pops out backwards. And... What is that? Oh, I thought I got black paint on there. And look at that. You can make a dream catcher. You can just hang that on your wall. You could hang some, um, get some macrame and hang it from below and use that as um, like do a braid or some sort. But for right now, this is what I have. The big bottom of my snowman is done now here is my second one and i haven't determined yet honestly i could just use that as a body and attach the head which i may do i mean what do you think i kind of just like that i can hang the let it snow in the center of the doily let's see Y'all are creating this with me. Because I don't want it to be overly large either. Hold on. I'm opening. This is glass for sure. I know that. From when I bought them. I'm just opening this. I mean, I could hang that right there in the center from the top and then decorate it. I kind of like him short and fat. I think we're going to go with that route. May, may or may not use the let it snow. Let's get decorating. So I have the little head done, but I need to attach the head. So wait a minute while I go get my stapler. All right. So I have decided I got my floss back out so I just fed it through the hole in the center and you can use any ornament you want Dollar Tree ornaments it doesn't matter this one happened to cost a dollar so I'm trying to figure out where I like for my top and bottom and I think I like here so I'm gonna put that right in the center. And then I'm just gonna feed this up here. And tie it off in a knot. Oops. No, I think I want it, well. Well, that stinks. I got the knot in the wrong spot. But the beauty is I have more string. And this, um, I didn't mention before, I am using six strands of floss. So the whole thickness of it. If you're a cross-stitcher or embroidery, you'll know that sometimes you cut you separate the floss, but not on this one. Now, I also could put a color behind here so you could see the wording better, but I kind of like the opacity of it. All right, let's do it this way. We're not going to do that kind of a knot. I'm going to just tie it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just tying a regular double knot. This will get attached on the back, but I really want it centered, or at least centered on the doily. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and one more. So I'm going to staple the back, 
but I'm also probably gonna put a couple drops of hot glue. There we go. Just to hold it in, spa in its space. Okay, so what we're gonna do is flip this over and not break everything. On the back, on the back, we got the head. Now the beauty is this is really several thicknesses. I just have a regular staple gun. If you don't, you can hot glue this. And I may end up doing that as well. But I want that to hold it in place. Oops, before I go gluing, let's flip this over. I'm sorry if it's upside down for you. Okay, that looks good. What do you think, guys? Well, I think that looks good. Let's flip them back over and add the glue where we want it to stay. And I'm just gluing it over this wire. I'm kind of just burying this gold wire in the hot glue because That's how we roll, guys. It's gonna sit in that hot glue and dry, and I'll be right back. All right, we got them all done, glued together and dry. I put a little bit of this silvery stickles, I think it's called, liquid pearl. It's a silver pearl, but I want it to look like some snow on his hat. And then I have this poinsettia from the Dollar Tree. I thought this would be perfect up here. Now, if you don't celebrate Christmas, you could just make this for winter. You can do whatever you want. This does not have to be a Christmas decoration. This is gonna make it a little more Christmassy, but I may just take that off come winter time. Put a snowflake up there or something. I don't know. For now, this is what I'm working with. And I do want to put, I feel like a little bit of this greenery on around the neck to highlight um, the scarf and to kind of give it a little more texture. So I'm going to cut individual little pieces of this. And it was just called frosted greenery or something it's a very generic name um but for us and what we're doing today i just like to give it that little bit of a sparkle and we're probably going to do you there and this one and i'm not going to do the red berries i'm just doing the white berries because i just that's my personal preference if you have a different preference you can use anything on here you want. This is just an idea. So I want to individually put these on instead of the whole, um, putting the whole spy, the whole pick on there. And if you run across one of these makeup, I think they're called um, mask applicators or something. It's silicone. So I use it to hold down the hot glue, it may stick to the silicone, but then it comes right off when it's dry. Not a worry. All right, and then we want this piece here, and I just wanna kind of build it up on this side, and then I might do just a little bit over there. We'll see. You guys are building this right along with me. And this works well too, if there's a very specific place that you wanna hold something like this. I kinda of just, in my vision, it's this snowman has a sparkly greenery scarf on. Ooh. All right, let's give you a little more hot glue there. And his little let it snow and like, like i said if you wanted to you can use any little ornament or no ornament at all let's see 
I feel like I want to put that right in there and then I'm going to do a little thinner. So like this end here is like the bow where the bulk of it is, which I think is fun. And then maybe just go down this way. I don't really want to put a bow on this. I really don't. So I may have to figure out something to hide all this greenery, but for now. I also like that these two picks, even though they're called the same thing, the greenery is different. And please don't worry, I've got plenty of this stuff. It's gonna make a couple appearances probably this Christmas season. Even though we're not in the Christmas season, Guys, it's not even Halloween yet, but I wanted to make these things whilst they're in the store. So if you guys want to do something very similar, you too can go and get these materials, you know? I think, should I maybe go this way? Let's do that. I'm gonna nip off as much as I can. I'm just hot gluing right along the bottom. Oops, let's get you in here. I'm not touching the hot glue. I just want it to go in two different directions. And then we're gonna go that way. Oh, yeah, that makes me happy. What do you guys think? and hot glue. I'm just trying to hide the glue in the ends without a bow. Everything doesn't need a bow in my world or glitter, but apparently this does need glitter. And then if you want, you could put some greenery up here coming out of the hat instead of the poinsettia. But I do need to let all of this dry and you know probably tomorrow i will get a picture of it for us and the finished product but we need to dry for sure and figure out what we're gonna do all right we'll be back and here we go. Now, I decided to take the glass, let it snow off, just because I wanted this to be 100% Dollar Tree. And it is 100% Dollar Tree. I did find one of the little metal snowflake ornaments and I attached that to, the, to his little scarf. And I left the poinsettia. Um, like I said, if you don't celebrate Christmas or you want this for winter time, you can do anything. There's a million things you can do to make this your own, but this is my take on it. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.